We, we, okay, we, we, we knew that Peter, we knew that Peter would have to come back. The, it was interesting the response from the fans as to where is he and why isn't he coming back. Uh, they weren't sure, but, and, and of course he did. But the main thing that happened without Peter at the beginning of the season was that we had to create versions of our characters that hadn't been impacted by Peter. So you have a Walter and a Olivia and an Astrid that had, 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 had this emotional contact with this guy. So it was quite different. Was, Walter was, was probably the, the least pleasant of the Walters in the sense that he was just mad and grumpy. <laughs> you know? And slept in the back and, and had these two girls that looked after him. But in his opinion, only looked after him because he was smart. So he's a, he's a sad character in the first part of it. And then, uh, and then you know, the, the bleed in of Peter, we eventually went through the various manifestations to where we're at present, where they seem to accept each other and want this to be their family. That's where we eventually arrive at, so they will it to be a happy place. But the first half was quite tricky without, without uh, Peter. The fans were very anxious about it. <laughs> what can you tell about us what's happening in the next few episodes or what we're We're starting from fifteen. Yeah. Um, well the second half the second half of the season is as it always has been with fringe. It's almost like we, we take off in this song. Um, I think fifteen onwards we've created some I know that in the last few episodes we've just created some, some of the best television I've ever been involved in. Uh, massive stuff, but very interesting, very rich. Um, great return of old characters. A couple of new characters. We've had a couple of uh, major guest roles come in. Um, Henry Cusick, Ian Henry Cusick and uh, Georgina Haig, uh, two, two newcomers, major roles in the 19. A wonderful job. And then some of the old people coming back, the old villains and. So it's just like the writers are bringing back in, for the sake of the band really, bringing them back in for another one. You were talking about how the first half of the season, the characters were different. Is that an interesting challenge for a show that as you go along you're almost reinventing yourself and you're your character several times? Yes, I think uh, the last calculation we did was that I've done 11 versions of it. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, but by the time you put in flash forwards, flashbacks, and double gangs, a uh, couple of versions I've just done in that episode I'm talking about, plus the animated version, plus the musical version, I think it's 11 or 12 versions. Interesting, isn't it? Are you done with shooting this season? Or is it wrapped? Are you still no, shooting? No, no, we're still shooting. We, we begin tomorrow morning, uh, episode 421, which is the penultimate. Well, Friday morning, Friday, Saturday morning, we finished doing it. Are they, are they building to something that if it's not renewed, that it that it wraps itself up, or is it, do you know anything Absolutely. about it? Absolutely. Absolutely can, you know, when we've had to do all these interviews. So that the, the, there's a build up there that we've, I haven't seen the last script. But obviously, they like what we would do with our eyes very strongly. Not as well as we would probably like to if we had a chance to advise. So, so is this final script um, actually is current, is, is already written already for uh, for the show or no? Or you just have a concept in mind? Okay. Um, we talked to the show about this and other people are going to do it. Which is a shifting shifting landscape and, and they're constantly searching after so particularly when we get into the incredibly complicated parts of the city which is now now it's so complex trying to type in you know scripts coming quite late this time of year but uh, we will cope with it's really hard but they'll be able to tell you much more about that now can you say anything about whether or not Peter and Olivia's child will make a reappearance? Peter and Bolivia? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Did <laughs> 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 so someone just take me out? Yes. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sorry for being here. <laughs> 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 uh, no, that's good. 
we used to play Australian rules all the time. Do the, do the scripts ever get so complicated that you're like, okay, I, I, can you explain what's going on here? I mean, you, have you, over the course of the season, you've kind of... I thought, uh, at the beginning of this season, I was uh, the new timeline. I was frowning a lot to try and work out not only what it was. It's a really difficult concept. The new time I was And I eventually had to do something to, to say to myself, you've just got to trust these people because any time in the past when I've questioned something that the writers have come up with, I've been proven to be oh, really, gee, that's clever. So with this timeline, I just had to, I just had to settle back and focus in on what I was doing. Uh, and I still find it confusing. <laughs> As an actor, how have you found the process of re-evolving this character in a new timeline that you you played, you know, the same way with the same people for four seasons? Uh, as, a, as, a, an acting, as an acting process, it was pretty standard, really. Um, you know, it makes it sound easy, but it was easy. <laughs> but it's pretty standard to take out certain elements in your in the, in the fabric of your character. It requires a lot of uh, concentration to not to not fall into old patterns so easily, particularly when you get up around now. The numbers are so high, and uh, some of them are far more fun than others. So to not go for a simple water type of play on something, which is always fun. <laughs> I love the characters, they make me laugh, so... Yeah, <laughs> I like them. I like them too. I just like to know, on like, the vibe on the set, if this is the end that we don't know, obviously, but what, what is the feeling on the set about it? The overriding feeling is that we're within touch of being one of the great science fiction series of the time. That's, and that's certainly something I share. Of the great sort of I, I hope we all want to, we all want to finish it. We don't want to leave people going, what? I've watched for four years. So the overriding feeling is a lot of determination and pride, but also let us finish our story. That's it. But no one's, no one's, uh, there's no drop in energy, if anything, it's got edgier. Yeah. Before. And people are very tired, and this 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 tension is very And we're shooting these long, long, particularly the doppelganger and stuff. You know, that we've seen us doing it, but so long for the doppelganger. So, it's, you know, in this night, so that. But there's a certain a, a great deal of pride in the company, and that's why we're trying to get it right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>